This asana should be performed in a meditating pose. While performing this asana in a meditating pose, one should keep their eyes closed. To perform this asana, you should first come into the Dandasana pose. For this, you have to sit with both your legs stretched in front of you. Keep your hands close to your pelvis. Be careful that the weight of your body is not on your hands. Now bend your right leg and place it under your right buttock. Then bend your left leg and place it under your left buttock. Make sure that your thighs are close together and your toes are touching each other. Now keep your hands on your knees. Make sure that your chin is parallel to the ground. Keep your spine straight and keep your body relaxed. Now, breathe in and breathe out normally and stay relaxed in this posture for some time. Bhadrasana makes the muscles of your thighs and calves strong. This asana improves the digestive process. Vajrasana makes the nerves of your legs strong. This asana gives relief from the pain in your lower back and sciatica. Vajrasana gives firmness to your spine and helps to keep it straight. Please avoid doing this asana if you are experiencing pain in your knees or have injured your ankles. People suffering from piles should avoid doing this asana. After staying in the Vajrasana pose for some time, bend your body to the right while straightening your left leg and then bend your body to the left while straightening your right leg. Now, relax in the Dandasana pose. Doing Vajrasana regularly strengthens your body and improves your concentration. It also gives you peace of mind and rids it of stress and pressure. Vrikshasana. Vriksha means tree. This asana makes the posture of your body steady, straight and strong, like a tree. Stand straight with your feet at a distance of two inches from one another. Focus on a point in front of your eyes, and then let a long deep breath out. Carefully and slowly bend your right leg, raise it up, and rest its sole on the inner thigh of your left leg. Take extra care that your heel is touching the perineum area. After steadying yourself in this posture, take a deep breath in and slowly raise your arms over your head and join your hands so that your palms touch each other in a namaskar pose. Breathe in and out normally in this position for about 10 to 30 seconds. This asana increases the balance, steadiness, and alertness of the brain. Vriksh asana also improves your neuromuscular coordination. This asana also strengthens the muscles of the legs. People suffering from arthritis, vertigo, or obesity should refrain from doing this asana. Breathe out slowly after remaining in vrikshasana pose for about 10 to 30 seconds, and then bring your arms down slowly. Now, lower your right leg to the ground and stand straight. Take in a deep breath and then exhale. And now, Repeat the whole process with your left leg. Vrikshasana makes your body healthy along with your mind. 
This asana increases the alertness of your brain and helps you to complete your work with increased focus. Shashank Asana In Sanskrit, Shashank means rabbit. In this asana, the posture of your body becomes like a rabbit. To do this asana, first sit in the Vajrasana pose. Keep your hands on your knees. Now spread both your knees apart in a comfortable position as far as possible. Make sure that the toes of your feet are touching each other. Now keep your palms in between your knees. Now, while breathing out, stretch your palms forward and bend your body. Ascertain that your hands are parallel to each other and your chin is on the ground. Keep looking in the front and remain relaxed in this pose for some time. Breathe in and out normally. Shashank Asana gives relief from constipation and improves the digestive process. This asana also gives you relief from back pain. Patients suffering from high blood pressure should take precautions while doing this asana. Patients suffering from arthritis of the knees should perform this asana with care or avoid doing it. Avoid doing this asana if you are suffering from excessive pain in your back. After staying in this posture for some time, while breathing in, come up and straighten your body. Now. While breathing out, come back in the Vajrasana pose. Now, while bending your body in one direction, stretch out both your legs in front of you and come into the Vishramasana pose and relax. Practicing Shashank Asana regularly helps in decreasing your tension and anger. Bhujang Asana Bhujang means cobra. While doing this asana, the upper portion of your body is raised above the ground in the same way a cobra raises its hood. To do this asana, you will first have to come in the makarasana pose, for which you will have to lie down on the floor on your stomach and keep your legs at a distance from one another. Rest your head on your palms and relax your body. Now moving on from the Makrasana, bring your legs close to one another and stretch your arms in front of you. Rest your head on the floor. Now place your palms close to your chest and raise your elbows. While taking a deep breath in, raise your chin up and lift your body up from the floor till your navel area. Take care that your elbow is in line with your body and your legs are stretched in such a way that you do not feel too much pressure on your waist. Breathing in and out normally, stay in this posture for about 15 to 30 seconds. Practicing this asana regularly gives relief from incessant back pain. Bhujang asana reduces stomach fat and provides relief from constipation. This asana also helps in providing relief from breathing-related problems. Patients suffering from hernia or ulcer and pregnant women should refrain from doing this asana. If you have just had a stomach operation, then you should refrain from doing this asana for at least three months. Staying in this posture for 15 to 30 seconds, exhale slowly and bring the upper portion of your body down to the floor. Stretch your hands in front of you and come back again in the Makarasana pose and relax your body. Bhujang Asana is very useful in relieving tension. Practicing this asana regularly helps in keeping both your body and mind healthy. Shalab Asana Shalab is a Sanskrit word which in English means a locust or a grasshopper. To do this asana, you have to first come in the pose of Makar Asana. And to do this, you have to lie down on the floor on your stomach. 
and keep your legs at a distance from each other. Keep your head on your palms and relax your body. Now, moving on from the Makar Asana pose, bring both your legs together. Now, position both your hands close to your body in such a position that your palms point towards the sky and your chin rests on the floor. Taking a deep breath, lift your legs up from the ground with the help of only your pelvic muscles. Lift your legs up only to the point till you can without bending your knees. You can take the support of your arms to keep your legs in the air. This will help you keep your body steady. Now stay relaxed in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, breathing in and breathing out normally. This asana helps in getting relief from sciatica and pain in the lower back. It also develops the muscles around the pelvis and kidneys. Doing this asana regularly helps reduce the fat on the thighs and also helps in reducing one's weight. This asana is beneficial for our stomach and is also known to help in the digestive process. Pregnant women and people suffering from peptic ulcer, hernia, high BP, and heart disease should avoid doing this asana. If you are suffering from incessant pain in your lower back, then you should take precautions while doing this asana. After remaining in this pose for about 10 to 20 seconds, bring your feet down to the ground while breathing out slowly. After returning to the Makar Asana pose, relax your body. This asana helps you to relax both your mind and body. Pawan Muktasana Pawan means wind in English and Mukt means freeing or releasing. This asana helps in removing wind or flash from your intestines. Lie down on the floor with both your legs and hands spread at a comfortable distance from your body. Ensure that the palms of your hands are facing upwards. This asana is called Shavasana. Now moving forward from Shavasana, join both your legs Bend your knees and take your thighs close to your chest. Interlock the fingers of both your hands together and hold them below your knees near to your shins. Now while breathing out, lift your head and shoulders till your chin is touching your knees. While doing this, you will experience stretching in your lumbar region. Keep your eyes closed and focus your thoughts completely on your lumbar region. While breathing in and out normally, stay relaxed in this pose for some time. Pawan Muktasana gives you relief from flatulence and decreases the bloating sensation in the abdomen. This asana cures you from constipation and improves the digestive process. Pawan Muktasana tones up your spinal nerves. This asana strengthens the muscles of your back. Pawan Muktasana offers deep internal pressure, massage and stretching of the highly complicated network of muscles, ligaments and tendons in your pelvis and lumbar regions. Refrain from doing this asana if you are suffering from back pain or stomach injuries. Patients suffering from hernia and sciatica should refrain from doing this asana. Pregnant women should avoid doing this asana. After staying in this pose for some time, while breathing in, rest your head and shoulders on the floor again. Now, while breathing out, straighten your legs Keep them on the floor, come back to the Shavasana pose, and relax. Pawan Muktasana.